Hey there! Today I'm going to be reviewing this watercolor paint, Neutral Tint, by Da Vinci Paint Company. First I will discuss my thoughts on the paint, and then I will paint this sketch right here. Finally, at the end of the video, I will include the time lapses and real-time painting footage of these sketches. According to their website, the Neutral Tint is an extremely flexible color because it can be used to tone or mute nearly any other color in a palette. Now, normally when an artist wants to tone down a color, they will add a little bit of the complementary color to it. So for example, if you wanted to dull down a red, you would add a little bit of green to it. And if you wanted to make a rich black, you would add even more green to that red. I typically don't include convenience colors such as green, purple, and orange in my regular watercolor palette. If I wanted to dull down a red, I would have to add both yellow and blue, which makes green. So when I saw an advertisement for the neutral tint, I thought it might make a really great convenience mixture to add to my palette. To begin, I swatched out the neutral tint with my favorite roster of watercolor paints. I have Daniel Smith Azo Yellow, Da Vinci Hansa Yellow Deep, Daniel Smith Quinacridone Pink, Daniel Smith Paraline Red, Daniel Smith Thalo Blue Green Shade and Red Shade, Daniel Smith Pyrrole Scarlet, and finally Da Vinci in Danthrene Blue. After doing these first swatches and comparing my cool and warm colors, I noticed something a little interesting. While the warm colors appear simply desaturated, as expected, the cool colors appeared to have a blue shift in their hue. For example, the Azo Yellow shifted to more of a green hue, while the Hansa Yellow Deep toned down to more of a brown or warm gray. The Quinacridone Pink shifted towards purple, but the Pyrrol Scarlet toned down to simply a more desaturated version of itself, more of a brick red. And finally, the three blues on the bottom barely had any hue shift. They all just became more desaturated, which is what the neutral tint is supposed to do. This led me to believe that the Da Vinci Neutral Tint probably has some blue pigment in it. So I looked at the tube and lo and behold, it does. This paint contains three pigments, PBK6, also known as carbon black or lamp black, PB15, which is phthalo or phthalo cyanine blue, and PB19, which can be either quinacridone rose or violet. Phthalo blue can be a middle blue, but the addition of the quinacridone rose definitely pushes it towards more of a cool hue or even a purple depending on the ratio of the mixture. This is why warm colors mixed with the Da Vinci Neutral Tint become much more neutralized and don't have a blue shift because the warm and the cool are balancing each other out. Now, after I figured that all out, I wondered to myself, is this paint really neutral? And why don't I just use a black as a neutral tint instead? So I dug around through all my tubes of paint and found that I have only one tube of black. This is from Mission Silver Class Watercolor. This tube is using a single pigment, PBK7, also known as Furnace Black. I also found this old tube of Winsor & Newton Artist Watercolor Payne's Gray. And guess what? It has the exact same pigments as the neutral tint, PB15, PBK6, and PB19. Now the Payne's Gray lists the blue pigment first, whereas the neutral tint lists the blue pigment second. And when you look at these swatches here, you will see that this makes total sense. As you can see, the Payne's Gray is much more blue than black. Now, when I did these swatches, I accidentally did it on a different paper than the original swatches. So I swatched the neutral tint again, but this time on the same paper. So these are both Moulin Du Roy 140 pound hot press. And here you can see the Mission Silver Black with the neutral tint. So I don't know how this is going to appear to you at home on your viewing device. You're just gonna have to take my word for this. The neutral tint is 
definitely a little bit cooler than the silver black. Now, if you didn't know the pigment composition of the paints, it would be easy to think that the neutral tint is a neutral black and that the mission silver black is actually a warm black. It's all kind of relative, but since we know the pigments that are in these, yes, the neutral tint is a little cooler than the mission silver black due to that little bit of blue and violet pigment. So this begs the question, if you already have a single pigment black, do you really need to buy the neutral tint? Honestly, probably not. And if you already own a Payne's gray and a single pigment black, you could easily mix the two together to make your own neutral tint. But then you would be putting in effort to make something that is supposed to be saving you from that effort, so I don't know. Now, here are some sketches that I painted the other day using the neutral tint with one of my three cool primaries. And just in case you're curious what paper I used, these were actually very cheap, low quality paper. I wouldn't recommend them. I just happen to have them. Um, this is Hyacinth Fine Papers. It's a 140 pound cold press watercolor. And then I have a Groom Bucker watercolor pad. It's cold press, 140 pound. These sketches were really quick, simple, and relaxing to do. For each one, I used the neutral tint in addition to one of my cool primary colors. So this was the quinacridone pink with the neutral tint, the azo yellow, and these two were the phthalo blue green shade. Using the neutral tint allowed me to easily create a monotone or monochromatic color palette. I have to say, you wouldn't think it looking at the colorful paintings I typically create, but navy and maroon are actually two of my favorite colors, so I'm really looking forward to using this paint more in the future. In the end, I'm happy with this purchase. It's a lovely gray, it mixes well with other colors, and it's just easy. Now that the review portion of the video is out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and paint this sketch. Then I will play the footage of these sketches and then I'll see you in the next video.
one more thing. Um, if you guys liked this video, if you could give me a thumbs up and comment below. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider subscribing. It's a really lovely gray. It mixes well with other... <sighs> I can't talk. Uh... And you would... <laughs> Thank you, bye.